Folks, finally today, we're talking about uh, artificial intelligence an awful lot more these days, aren't we? These warnings from the AI researcher, Geoffrey Hinton. Well, where do you hear this? The Irish Times didn't maybe heed the warnings, well, it seems. An opinion piece appeared, right, uh, on, on the online version of the paper about the cultural appropriation of fake tan in Irish society. So the Irish Times have since took the piece down and the editor has issued an apology for a breach of trust. So are the papers going to be writing themselves now going forward? Signs that, uh, of, you know, things to come or genuine mistakes? Of course, we touch base uh, with the Professor of Cybersecurity at Ulster University with these matters. Professor Kevin Curran. Kevin, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Mark. So uh, what way do you read this? Well, read it if you don't mind. You read the paper. But um, uh, malevolence, Kevin, or what's going on here? Well, not really. It was more a prank by, you know, seems a student again. But... It's a difficult one. Basically, I mean, the article itself is really clickbait. It's saying that Irish women um, shouldn't use fake tan because they're mocking those with naturally dark skin. And then it goes off and describes different articles and everything else. And uh, on the face of it, 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 it actually looks quite genuine. But I'm not sure who put the links in, in the article, in the original one, which is now taken off, but I found it. Um, because they w- should have given some clue to the edit- editorial team. Mm. But it's not obvious because it really is a clever, I mean, it's, it's a crazy thing. And we, we just think it's the latest wokeness. The, uh, it was an article that was done around the world and was repurposed for the Irish market by someone living in Ireland. But um, basically it was a prank, but it's shown up the difficulty for editorial teams to be able to figure out if something is generated by the AI, which 80% of the article was, the image used by the person was created using Dali, they just said, create me, you know, a, an overweight woman who looks whatever with blue hair, and they did that. So 80% of it was all fake, but it's just showing you the difficulty of trying to figure out what is true in this age of generative AI. Wow, so the, the image was fake. I mean, it's the Irish Times, you know, for many, it's the paper of record on the island of Ireland. Kevin, you know, so I'm sure they're taking that kind of thing very seriously. Oh, they are. They're embarrassed by this. But it's just that they just happen to be the first. You know, next week it could have been the Independent or something else. You know, really, um, I'm not coming down too hard. It wasn't complete gobbledygook as well. And, you know, we don't know what the pressure of these people are as well. But it's just showing us the dangers again. But the Washington Post for years has been using kind of AI to generate football game results. And the Associated Press use AI to generate financial returns and these have been happening for many years but of course they're not generating news stories again which mm. you know which are really not you know true well i'm not i know you're not a media man but uh, i mean ai may be outsmarting editors kevin or the economic realities of, of you know fewer sub-editors and actual newspapers i know this was online but you know the online material will come from the actual paper so i mean i, I, I don't know that that's going to be interesting watching it going going forward you know i suppose there's nothing to beat a good old-fashioned sub-editor eh Exactly, yeah, because, you know, these AI language models, they're notorious liars. They, you know, they often present falsehoods of the facts. They're excellent at predicting the next word in the sentence, but they have no knowledge of what the sentence actually means. Gotcha, they, gotcha. No knowledge of it. They just really are word predictors as such. Do you think you'd have spotted it in a word? Do you think you'd have spotted it if you'd seen the online version, Kevin? It's hard. I've asked I, I, I don't know. It depends how busy I am, uh, what the, you know, and how diligent I am. I can't say I would have, but the actual baiting of the... Actually, I wouldn't have published it because it goes against my principles um, as well. The, the overall thing, it's just, it's a crazy thing to put out unless there was more research behind it, saying that people, like the Irish Times really, literally, published the piece saying that we should not use fake tan, us Irish people, white, because it, it looks like we're trying to be darker. Yeah. Now, ultimately, that, that okay. is the article. That shouldn't have went, it shouldn't have went out because... Yeah. I, think it was an, I think it was an opinion piece, Kevin. Listen, our time is gone, Kevin. Thank you for that. The Irish Times has said the article I published with regard to fake tan may not have been genuine. Listen, folks, my time is gone from David, Mario Louise and myself. Take care.